Eyelash is done here today, bring you a lovely video on the derivative of sine of x. Why is that equal to cos of x? So first things first, whenever you have to prove a derivative, you are going to have to use the limit definition, which is stated on your screen right in front of you. In this case, our f of x function is just going to be equal to sine of x. So we're going to basically rewrite it in terms of the limit definition. So once you do that, you, you are going to obtain an expression that looks like this. And what we're going to have to do is apply a trig identity over here and we will expand it. And you'll see why in a moment why I have to do this. So you can rewrite sine x plus h as the following over here. And we do this is because we need to simplify and, and to do so we have to do this trig identity. Notice over here there's a sine of x and over here there's a sine of x. Therefore we can factor that out because there's a common term. You see over here we can factor this out really ultimately leading us as sine of x cos h minus 1 right so we factor out the sine of x and what we're going to have to do at this point on is we're going to basically separate these into two different fractions and you'll see why in a moment we'll have to do that as you can see i separated them and we're going to essentially apply the limit on both of these fractions and once you do that it's going to resemble something that looks like this notice the sine of x could be moved outside the limit and even the cos of x over here could be moved outside the limit the reason why is because it's got no h term basically so you can exclude it like a scalar basically right very important and what you are going to notice is when you see the limit of this over here it's not very clear what the value should be and likewise if you do the same thing over here you, you are going to end up with the same problem so these are very special limits and you can only prove them really through the use of geometry and using the, squ the squeeze theorem. So once you apply the squeeze theorem and the use of geometry, you can prove that this limit here is equal to naught, equal to zero, and this limit over here is equal to one. And on your test, if you write according to the squeeze theorem, you will obtain full marks. And we can basically re right so solve this as equal to zero and this here is equal to one ultimately resulting in an answer of cos of x so that's the reason why when you take the derivative of sine of x you lot end up with cos of x i hope you lot enjoyed this video if this video has helped you lot please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later